Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, I wanted to kind of take a break from giving videos of just kind of the general spirituality, meditation, different tools and techniques, and kind of just share a, a personal story. One of the last videos that we posted was from the celebration of love from mine and my wife Lindsay's one year wedding anniversary. And the reason we did the celebration of love in the way that we did was because of on our actual wedding day, uh, we, it was just a small group of friends. We actually didn't even tell my parents and my whole family until a few weeks after the wedding, until we had the video to share with them. And so, yeah, it was a fun thing to get to do an actual kind of wedding a year after the fact uh, and get to celebrate that with friends and family and all sorts of people who weren't able to show up on the actual wedding day. And so I just felt I would share a fun story of just kind of before we got married and just kind of how quickly everything uh, ended up uh, coming to fruition. And so uh, while the pandemic was at its kind of height around the day after St. Patrick's Day in 2020, Donald Trump went on TV and he talked about if you're an American uh, outside of the country that you need to get back into the country as soon as possible because of the borders might be closing even to citizens. And I remember that being a scary thing. I was in London uh, doing a series of workshops, went to, Saint, to, went to Ireland to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Uh, it was a very depressing St. Patrick's Day because of the fact that uh, everything was closed. So it was just an interesting time. And so, yeah, I remember essentially rushing back to LA as soon as I saw that on the news, but then realizing that I was seeing this amazing girl, Lindsay, and I figured the world was kind of crazy. Uh, if things are going to continue to get crazy, I wanted to, to ride the whole thing out with her. So I decided to book a flight to Toronto, which is where Lindsay was living at the time. And in booking that flight, I was actually kind of worried because if I knew that they were going to be closing the borders the next day. And so I booked the flight. And as soon as I bought the flight, I figured, well, if they're going to not let me in the country, they're not going to let me book a flight. So I booked a flight and they gave me a ticket. And I was like, oh, I guess I must be good to go because my flight took off at 10 at night. And so I figured I must be just grandfathered in to the situation. So I got on the flight to Toronto, land in Toronto. And as I'm going through the customs and border patrol, they're looking at everyone's boarding pass and they're kind of going, okay, you here, you here, you here. But then as soon as I walked up, they looked at me and said, you here. And I ended up going into a room, which was essentially the only way I can describe it was airport jail. They took away my passport. Border Patrol agents fingerprinted me. I was asked all sorts of questions. And then I was not allowed to leave this particular small area until they had booked me a flight right back to Los Angeles. So I got back on the plane to Los Angeles, had to let Lindsay know who was waiting for me at the airport that I would not be arriving. And so they flew me back. And so for the next, I think, four or five months, Lindsay and I had uh, essentially a Zoom relationship. We ended up watching all of Tiger King together on Zoom via the share screen function. And it was just an interesting time of having this relationship via Zoom. But then Lindsay learned that she was able to get into America. So she essentially left all her things behind. She flew to Los Angeles and we just kind of had a fun little fling. And then we just kind of were feeling that the world was so crazy. We didn't know what anything was going to look like that we decided to just book it, get married. And so we, we booked a small, beautiful chapel in Agora Hills. It was on a nice, beautiful white house overlooking a giant green kind of giant set of land, a beautiful mountain. And just with a small group of friends, uh, we, we got married. And at the time we were living with my parents just because of things were so chaotic during the pandemic beforehand. I didn't even live anywhere. I was just traveling the world, doing workshops. And when the pandemic hit, I just 
I didn't have anywhere to go. I went with my parents and then brought Lindsay home. And so we got married and didn't tell really anyone outside that small group of friends that had come to the wedding. And so we didn't even tell my parents that we got married until after that video had gotten made, as I mentioned earlier. And so, yeah, we got to celebrate our one year anniversary. I got to have my uncle, who's a rabbi, uh, officiate the wedding. And it was a really fun, exciting time. And it's interesting that, and this will be a separate video I'll make another time, but kind of noticing that because Lindsay and I made the commitment, got married, there have certainly been uh, no shortage of challenges that any relationship will have. But because we are married, that we, we definitely encounter these challenges significantly different than other people I notice that have similar challenges that maybe are living with a significant other, but aren't married. Uh, and Jordan Peterson talked about it in his book, uh, Beyond Order, 12 More Rules for Life. And as I said, I'll make a whole other video on this. I kind of just want to maybe make a small little preview segue leading into that. Uh, but he talks about the importance of not moving in together before getting married for these kinds of these reasons that living together with another person that you will encounter all sorts of these different kinds of challenges. But if you have a way out, it's very common that people decide to take that way out. But with being married, that with that commitment of just kind of, oh, whatever challenges come our way, that we will face them head on, we will deal with them, we will communicate and talk these things out, which I feel has been just a really powerful thing for our relationship. And as I said, I'll make a whole other video on that, but I just wanted to really kind of just share this story as we just recently shared this beautiful video from this amazing day of our one year anniversary that we got to celebrate like a wedding uh, with our friends and family. And so if you haven't checked that out, uh, I'm not sure where we are on video editing, but if we're able, I feel making a an ability for people to click on that wedding video and you can just put it like right here or something like that. But if not, uh, you'll just have to look on our page and figure it out. Anyway, uh, that's all I got as far as story time. I'll have other stories that we'll kind of incorporate in between all these other fun, inspiring things that I'd love to talk about as well. That's all I got for today. Uh, hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.